Why do we sleep? And not just us. Well, pretty much everything sleeps. As far as we know, all mammals do it. All birds. Bees, locusts, cockroaches, crayfish, reptiles, insects, scorpions. Everything that's been studied has something that looks like sleep. So what does this all mean? Well, think about this. Okay, Mm -hmm. all the sea mammals, they do it. Right. Uh, Well, at least the ones that have been studied. All the flying creatures, they do it. The reptiles seem to do it too. Who does that leave? You mean who's left not sleeping with half a brain on and the other half a brain off? Yeah. Um... Us! Really? We may be the strange ones. Sometime, long ago, our scaly ancestor wandered up onto land and thought, I think I'll dig a hole. Yeah, I'm going to dig a hole. And the hole was dark, and it was safe. And for the first time in millions of years of evolution, that little creature closed both eyes. (sighs) And so we lost it. (laughs) <laughs> totally speculative theory, of course. But the basic idea, though, is if you are protected and safe, you can afford to close both eyes, conk out completely. Huh. And that simple idea of safety, that explains, well, these guys think almost everything. Where you sleep, how you sleep, how long you sleep. It all boils down to two words. Predation risk. Predation risk. Predation risk. Which is really just a fancy way of saying. Generally speaking, just your risk of being killed. Your risk of being eaten. Yeah, it's called unihemispheric sleep. 